Hey everybody, we're here on Lake Ontario in Ransomville and uh, behind me is the Ultra 3 plan done as a cape with an attached garage with a bonus room above it as well. So this house is 2,300 square feet on the first floor. It's been done as a cape with some pretty large dormers on the back side of the house, which you'll see when we go do a walkthrough here. Plus it's a walkout basement as well. So this house, I mean, above grade, you're, you're definitely north of 5,000 square feet for this house. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful home. Uh, let's take a walk through and uh, take a look and see what progress has been made. Just get a sense for the house layout shortly after set when really not much interior work has been done. So you get an understanding of how the house is going to come if you choose to do a lot of the finishing work yourself. Let's walk through. So like I said, 2,300 square feet um, on the first floor. It's three modules. There's uh, the uh, smaller one up in the front here, plus one, two uh, front to back as well, okay? So one, two, three across from front to back. Plus they did this large attached garage with a big 12-12 pitch roof on this, plus this dormer off the front of the garage. And we built it in a way that it is, uh, it'll handle structurally uh, that space above the garage being used as a bonus room for a future bedroom or whatever you choose to use it for. So <clears throat> you can see, obviously the structure has been built. Uh, the floor hasn't been poured in the garage yet on this house. Um, the windows aren't in the basement yet. And really none of the finishing work on the inside of the house has been done yet. But uh, I do want to point out just a few simple things here. So first of all, you see um, just the way that they finished off this exterior uh, with these little, you know, little decorative details here on this house. So you have the... Um, Excuse me, you have this little ridge here that's matched as well on the front of the garage, which really helps break things up quite a bit. Um, you know, when you think about the size of this house, it's a large home and to be able to do things like this are a big deal for not making it just feel like a, you know, a huge wall basically. Um, plus there's going to be some different color siding and stuff like that in these peaks and stuff that we'll do as well. So we walk up. Uh, from the factory, they do a pressure treated um, deck. You can actually uh, get some other options as well to consider, but this deck specifically, not the stairs, but the deck itself is actually done from the factory just based on the way that the layout is. Typically porches are not included from the factory, but because of the way that this house is laid out, this one is. So we walk in through and uh, like I said, uh, not really much of anything has been done from an interior standpoint. We're really just kind of clean things up and it, this is kind of how it is right now. So, uh, you know, you got your protective coverings over top of your carpets to keep those clean. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of the, fin a lot of the finishing work on the inside of the house is even done. You get the baseboard trim already in, the trim around the windows is already in. Um, they got some light fixtures in already um, and all this. So you have your coat closet over here um, on this side. Really just enough for a guest uh, sort of a space. This, you know, typically in a house like this, the garage is really the family's main entrance point. So it's really more of a guest closet than anything. Then you have this office space um, off to the right here. And you kind of walk in through and you're in this big, huge, wide open space for this living room, dining room, kitchen space. Okay. This is enormous. <laughs> um, so... Let's uh, just kind of digest this a little bit together. So the homeowner did vinyl plank flooring, which some of it's already been installed from the factory. And then they stop there and then the rest of the, the rest of the flooring is done on site. So this will be nice and seamless all the way across here, right? We put in the little um, joint spot on the marriage wall, which you've probably seen in another video that we did. Uh, Pat showed how he kind of patched the, the, uh, the subfloor together uh, across that marriage wall of the house with a great video there. And then, um, like I said, this is a cape. So there's this uh, nice railing here to go up to the upstairs for an unfinished attic space for future use. They got the three um, triple windows here, triple window over here as well, plus a sliding glass door in here. Here's all your drywall needed to finish the rest of the, the house out. Um, an island that I'm pretty sure you could, uh, you could fit a twin bed on this island. It's, uh, it's, enor <laughs> it's enormous. Um, you know, we just cover it up just to keep, you know, keep it from being damaged. They put some bubble wrap over top of the cabinets again, just to keep them from being damaged, um, as well for shipping and things like that. So appliances are already in fridge is sitting right here that tucks in over here on this side here. 
but you can see this ultra three plan has a ton of cabinet space in this kitchen um, backsplash was already installed from the factory um, countertops obviously uh, cabinets all done from the factory it's a pantry space off to the side of the kitchen okay and then you'll see this is kind of an interesting point that I want to mention here for you the um, you can see the uh, sheet vinyl here right this is kind of an odd formation it comes right into the pantry but you have this break line here what's going on here well it's actually interesting with sheet vinyl they actually install it in the factory before they even build the walls so this is just kind of carryover material so you know when the flooring is getting finished out on site you just cut it back and and you know install the rest of the vinyl plank flooring that you were carrying through here so this is that mudroom laundry room space on the front of the house um done you know a little bit differently than than is kind of the standard way of laying it out they have a big closet here on the side um space for washer dryer utility sink around the corner here uh, a little half bath here this is a great spot for a half bath big window tons of light which is wonderful um, and then this little coat closet space here we'll take a look at the garage as well So you can see big, huge LVLs in here to support the load for this to actually be a structurally um, uh, structurally sound upstairs to be able to be used as a, fin as a finished living space. If the homeowner chooses to later on, they don't need to do anything else to it other than, you know, insulate, electrical, that sort of thing, you know. So flat work still needs to be done on the garage, but uh, the structure is all built. So like I said, you usually probably come in through this way, right? So you have your, you know, your bench and, uh, you know, little coat rack there to hang up your coat, come in through, bigger closet if the need is there, washer dryer to throw off your stuff, clean up a little bit, come in the house, right? It's really nice. So let's go in through the other bedrooms here first and then we'll take a look upstairs. So we come down through this little kind of, almost kind of hallway space the way that it's laid out, right? Um, you know, technically it's open, but it almost kind of creates this hallway space, which is kind of nice because it forms some clarity around furniture layout for your living room, right? Um, so that can be pretty helpful. The homeowner is talking about possibly doing like a gas fireplace in the future on this wall, which I thought could be a neat idea. Um, and then here we'll go to the other bedrooms first. Homeowner did tile um, from the factory. Tile floor from the factory, installed already. Um, garden tub and uh, standard vanity and sink and all of that in here. Okay, all done from the factory in advance. And then you got the two uh, bedrooms. So you have, um, I think they're basically the same size if I'm not mistaken. This one might be a little bit bigger um, than the other one actually. Um, but they're pretty close to the same size. But I like the kind of, you know, duality of the, uh, of the way that the, the hallway kind of um, closes in. And you'll see, obviously, there's a lot of ship loose material in here, which, you know, we've kind of organized a little bit, but, you know, into sections is kind of usually how we do it when we're finishing an entire house out, um, is we'll kind of organize the, uh, the ship loose materials into sections of when they would be needed, you know. Um, and then we come back through, and here's our entrance into the master. Look at all this light in here. It's great. Homeowner did a sliding glass door here. They're gonna do a deck in the future. A um, Couple of chaise lounge chairs, and uh, you'll see kind of the, what the plan is for the future here. Here's all the ship loose vinyl plank flooring to finish that out. And then the um, tile floor in the bathroom as well, in the master bath. So both bathrooms, uh, both main bathrooms I should say, are tile, okay? And then there's a, Closet space here, or excuse me, the uh, water closet is what I meant to say. Uh, water closet space here. And then here's the big walk-in closet, although it doesn't feel so big when all the insulation is in, is in here. <laughs> really, really shrinks the size of what you can use. So obviously all this insulation is coming out. That's for the upstairs space um, for, uh, for the homeowner for the, um, uh, for the attic space. So here's the big walk-in shower as well. Rainfall head, main shower head, wand, diverter, 
A lot of stuff going on in the shower. Two recessed lights in the shower. Nice big glass pane in here. Uh, linen cabinet here on the side. Big, huge vanity space, right? A lot of space here. The other, uh, some other layouts that I've seen is where there's you know, some additional cabinets here on this side. I've seen that before. And then I've seen the, uh, where you kind of tuck this down and almost, you know, make this a, a smaller like seating sort of space here. I like this best, I think. I think this really flows really nicely. Um, you got the window in between here, so providing a lot of natural light in here as well. It's a really great layout, this plan. So let's take a look upstairs. I wanna show you that as well. So we come around and uh, here's the basement stairs, which uh, haven't gone in yet. Stairwell's not cut in yet. The carpet was done from the factory, okay? And uh, then we come up, which you've probably seen this in another video here where we're doing the, the uh, set day videos, which we had several days that we were setting this house, which you can see why this house is uh, quite large. So you have three dormers. You have one over here, one in the middle. This one's the biggest one, and then another matching one to the other side on that side. Plus, uh, let's start here. This house is overwhelming, overwhelmingly large. <laughs> We'll come through here. This is really a great uh, spot for a bedroom right off the front of the house, right? And then you come back through. So probably put the door on that side over there and then kind of let it be this hallway kind of leading into it, which could be kind of fun. And then what they were talking about is maybe they end up doing a future master suite up here, actually. Just because you're higher up, you got a better view of the lake up here. Um, it's pretty nice. You got the windows over on either side. Uh, well, actually this side's a door um, on the other side. This side's a window. Um, but they did the triple windows across the back here. And each of these dormers, you have these triple windows. So we've, uh, you can see the, the post where the, uh, the framing is gonna be going around for the uh, stairwell. Uh, cause you got to close this in. If this is an unfinished attic space, there needs to be a door and clearly there's not at the bottom of the stairs. So there's gotta be a door at the top of the stairs. Then, um, if there's not a door at the top of the stairs and, and if this is all going to be wide open from a, from an inspection standpoint, this is all going to be considered part of the finished living space. So you got to then finish this whole thing out up here. So that's why I put in a door there because then this just, this is just attic space is all this is up here. Um, and then they can handle that in the future, you know, some other time when they're ready to. But, you know, take a look at the beautiful view here out the back of Lake Ontario. It's like glass out there today. So you come around, see we've already started to build the walls for the framing for the uh, stairwell here. And then I wanna show you this bonus room space as well. This house just keeps going on and on, doesn't it? So there's a door, fire rated door, because this is a garage space. So that's gotta be a fire rated door. Um, and then you have this additional space over here, All right? Here's the window off the front of the garage. And then you got all this space up here to finish out in the future. This is, this is just a ton of space and it's just a beautiful layout, really well done, great design. Uh, homeowner made some great decisions on this one for sure. Um, I would like to show you the basement on this one as well. So we'll head down there next. So there's no light down here yet um, in terms of electrical or anything like that. And we got a bunch of the uh, walk-in spaces boarded up at this point in time. So um, I won't walk through the whole thing cause it'll get hard to see, but I did just want to show you a few things. First of all, um, something that could happen on your house is the homeowner actually was originally planning on doing an I-beam across this, uh, this marriage wall of the house to eliminate a bunch of these vertical supports that are on this thing, right? And so uh, what came up with this one specifically is because it's a cape and with those dormers, there was so much weight on this house that we actually couldn't do it. Um, so they had to leave it like this. Now, as you can see, it's, it's not like they're short on space down here, right? There is a lot of space down here. So, you know, that's not going to really be an issue um, in here, but it is something that they were planning on and thinking about doing that, uh, you know, we had to alter the plan as that, as that was coming about. 
So just something to consider uh, for your project and just to be aware of and be thinking about that, you know, depending on the weight of the house and, and how it's laid out, might be something that you need to do. So that concludes our walkthrough video of the Ultra 3 plan as a cape with a walkout basement and the attached garage with bonus room plus the dormers on the back of the house. This is a lot of house, um, but we did so many videos on this as we were setting the house. I wanted to give you a chance to see uh, kind of a walk through the house. We actually didn't do that when we were doing it originally. A lot of times we do those when we're finished with the house, but I know so many people these days are actually doing um, you know, a lot of the finishing work themselves or are taking on that general contractor role and are really just looking for us to help them in getting the modules and getting that aspect of things taken care of. That's certainly something that we can do for your project. So I wanted to give you a chance to get to get a feel for how this is going to come together what amount of finishing work needs to be done on your project um, if that's what you are choosing to do. So I hope this has been helpful as you're thinking about your project and considering things. Uh, I'm sure it was entertaining because it's a, it's a great house, great design. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and uh, keep watching. Uh, keep looking for videos that can be helpful for you, for your project as you're you know continuing to develop that plan. For a lot of people, it can be a long time coming, but when it comes, it's certainly worth it. Thanks for watching.